Ja, herzlich willkommen. Wir melden uns heute aus Berlin von myrevelations.de. Wir melden uns aus dem SO36 und neben mir sitzt Grutle von Enslaved. Hello. Hello, sir. Thank you for the interview. No problem, so, uh, how are you? Everything's uh, fine so yeah, far? Yeah, everything's fine. Absolutely. Uh, first question. Uh, it's right now the end of the tour. It's, uh, I think it was the second part of the Ritia tour. Yeah, uh, well, uh, the third actually. We did a small one in Norway uh, before we went to the States too. So, yeah. Okay. The third part. Um, yeah, so now it's nearly finished. Uh, what do you think about the tour? Was it a success? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I think uh, usually we, we, we tour uh, both uh, the States and Europe just like uh, right after we have released the album. Uh, but this time we actually uh, waited a couple of months uh, to hit the road, except Norway. We did a couple of shows in Norway, uh, just right after we released the album. So uh, I think people have uh, gotten a chance to kind of uh, adapt to the songs and, you know, but like being really, really into them. So the audience already knows the they songs? They already know the songs, they already know the names of the songs, they know the lyrics, so that's been really fun. You know? So the, is it, it's a difference between uh, the last tours you did right after the albums where the people didn't know these, the albums so well? Well, especially sometimes we have just been, uh, like last time we hit the road just like uh, on the release date of Axioma, for instance. Yeah. Uh, so uh, people didn't know the songs and they were like, oh, they, they, they enjoyed it, they liked it, but I mean, it's something different when they have like, uh, had a couple of months to absorb it, absorb the material and really getting into it. So it's more fun doing like, uh, doing the things the way we are doing now. Yeah. Really good. Um, let's talk about your um, support band Winterfilleth. Was it uh, your decision to take this band with you or was it your label or management, whoever, who decided it? Oh, well, we have a, we have a, they're on the same booking agency as us, uh, it's an English booking agency, so they, uh, they wanted to, to, to have them on, on the tour, and, uh, but I mean, of course, we have the last words, so, uh, yeah, we said, we, we said, give it a go, and uh, really nice guys, uh, cool music, and uh, actually, we, we are, they are really professional, uh, I mean, to be a, uh, you know, a support band is supposed to be, You're supposed to be a support band and not go over time and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and, and they have been very, very, uh, been like a bunch of English gentlemen. I mean, they were like exactly on time and really nice to hang, uh, hang out with. And um, yeah, a really nice support band, actually. Cool. Um, what is important for you for a support band? Well, like I said, being... An, um, Being, <laughs> being supportive. <laughs> I mean, not not not, not interfering with with the, with the stage time and uh, and uh, uh, it might be a little arrogant, but I mean, uh, be out of the way for for uh, I mean, not for us, but for for our crew to work yeah. with the, with the, our production. And uh, we we actually take when we have been support band, we we take pride the exact same way. Being a support band, get a, uh, get off the stage when we are supposed to, and get a gear up on the stage when supposed to, and you know. Try to work professional and and uh, you know have a have a good tone in 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 between the bands and and the crews. Uh, that's very important, I think. Okay. Um, so let's get back to your last um, release, right here. Uh, what do you think about the feedback which came back from the media and from the fans, from the audience uh, about right here? What do you think about the album right now? It has been really good, so uh, there's not much to complain about. It's, it's been like, uh, you know, all, um, all these polls and ratings in, in the magazines, the, you know, some album of the years, uh, year, and, uh, you know, uh, well... Was it, was it like... Basically on top of the lists in the big magazines, I mean, there's nothing to complain about. Was it what you expected, or is it... Is I, mean, it... I mean, you can never expect that. I mean, uh, but I mean, the main thing is that you are confident uh, about the work yourself, and uh, if you're satisfied yourself, and if you have done your best, uh, there's really not much more you can do. So uh, the reception uh, from, from the fans and the media, that's, a, you know, it, it's still a secondary thing. It is because you're doing this mainly to satisfy yourself as a creative musician or you know, uh, whatever. Uh, so, but I mean, you never know what to what to expect. But I mean, uh, on on the last past releases, uh, I, I mean, ever since Below the Lights, uh, things have been uh, you know we're getting really good response from from both the fans and the media. So, uh, and we to be able to continue that, although we are changing uh, constantly. The music and the sounds and the production. Uh, I think that's that's a good thing. I think uh, somehow we 
enslaved and the fans are somehow growing together and uh, that, that's a good thing. Um, uh, that's a good hint uh, because yeah. the next question is um, I would like to know is um, your fans um, do you think they have developed with you and your music or is it more different like uh, the old days when you when you watch the old, uh, older albums like Ether and Rune which were more straight up black metal and not so progressive not so technical stuff do you think your fans have developed with you and your music and your band or is there a difference right now between this and the last 10 uh, or 10 years ago well i, I think yes and uh, and no we we, can, we we have a fan base that uh, enjoys uh, uh, Or shall I put it uh, the challenge uh, we put on them, mm -hmm. and they, they 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 like to you know uh, I think they're satisfied when they put on the record and say like, what the fuck is going on, <laughs> and give it a few more spins and then get into it. Yeah. I, th I think that's uh, I mean that's what I like when I hear a new album. It's like what the fuck is this? What's going on? This is interesting. It's better better yeah. to make you thought than just exactly to, uh, exactly just, just to listen and get yeah. bored. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So uh, yes, I think so. But uh, and uh, on the other hand. Uh, I think we, uh, especially since the early releases, I think we, we have lost, you know, the, the, those pure extreme, pure black metal fans. But I, I don't think they were ever uh, either enslaved fans or Dark Thor fans or Immortal fans. They were probably more like uh, fans of that old scenes, the first years. Okay. So that, that's okay. I mean, they, they enjoy the two first or three first albums. I mean, okay, uh, f fine. I mean... Uh, The several bands I only listen to the <laughs> first <laughs> albums of anyway, so okay. yeah, that's that's completely fine. You know, if they are, if they do not want to continue the journey, that's that's fine by me, because I'm I'm just the same way myself with okay. a lot of bands. So uh, that, that's fine. Uh, but still, I think we have gained a lot of new fans with uh, since. Uh, well, the biggest change we ever did was between when you mentioned uh, and below the lights. I think. So uh, I think ever since then we have gained. A lot more fans than we have lost. So uh, yeah. Okay, it's a it's a plus plus. Uh, it's a just you know almost yeah, yeah. only pluses. So. <laughs> yeah. um, let's talk about Truth Espedal. Um, how did you get to know him, and and um, what is the special thing about him that you did uh, let him create the last six albums, um, the the covers, and what is the specialty in his work? Why do you like him so much? Well. Uh, I first got to know him uh, because he was. Uh, I was living in a town called Stavanger. Mm -hmm. I was together with a with a girl from Stavanger, so we were living there. And uh, Truls Espel was uh, like a childhood friend of yeah. her. And uh, you know, in the weekends when we you know hang around in in the bars, got drunk, and she introduced me me to him. And uh, you know, so you're you know you're a painter, and right? we discuss painting, we discuss music, and suddenly when uh, I think. A couple of years after I first know the guy, I was like, uh, and we had the, these discussions about uh, the album cover. So yes, <laughs> I think it was. We were <laughs> discussing topographic oceans, the cover, and and he was like having having certain opinions about uh, uh, about abstract art, you know, okay. and uh, the connection with the abstract art and, and and the music, music and lyrics and stuff like that. So I I just I was really drunk, but I told him, okay. You have a task. You're gonna make the you're gonna make the cover of our next album. It's called Money Mansion. <laughs> okay. So, so we we would uh, yeah, agreed. Like, yeah, okay, let's do it and um, let's actually do it. Although we are drunk, so uh, we actually kept in contact. We uh, <laughs> pick up the thread and uh, me and Eva and uh, the rest of the guys were like uh, giving him a lot of uh, giving him a little sketch of uh, what to do and what elements to put in the cover. And, um, a little drawing or whatever. Yeah, it was actually a drawing back then. The first albums were drawings. I think the first painting, actually oil painting, was was uh, <laughs> even an oil painting. Uh, yeah, from vertebrae, it's been uh, been uh, oil paintings. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. Before that, it was the drawings. You know. Okay. Uh, so we, uh, after a month, we got the, the cover and we we're like, all right, you understood exactly what we meant, and. Um, After Money Mansion, ever since Money Mansion, uh, we have been inviting him to uh, to come to to Bergen, have this meeting, you know, have a couple of beers, discussions. Uh, me and Eva, me and Eva, always uh, uh, make up our own mind of what to kind of uh, include in the cover, and uh, we have dis discussions. And he, he uh, Trulis might come up with new ideas of, of better expressions of, of of the certain concept. And uh, I mean, we basically sit there and have uh, have a meetings and, and drawing sketches for 
well, seven or eight hours altogether. Okay. And all right, we have a plan. And he goes home, and one month later, he has the results. You know. Okay. And it's becoming better and better, I think. Okay. So thank you. Um, uh, let's stay in this kind of art for a moment. Um, in your band history, the rune was repeating everywhere. It was a symbol which, uh, to me, it appears the first time on Eld, which is also the name of a rune when, when I'm right. And uh, then it, uh, it it was seen everywhere on covers, on, in the lyrics, in the booklet, even in the corners uh, somewhere. Um, which meaning does the rune have in the concept of enslaved? I mean, uh, each rune has, uh, you, you can write, I guess you can write a book about each rune. I mean, it, it, it just, uh, you know, a symbol that represents certain, certain uh, emotions, certain forces, certain, um, uh, I mean, you can, you can relate everything you do, everything you feel to a certain rune. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it, it, it's, it's a bit complex and the rune, each rune can mean like a number of things. Okay. And each runes in, in combination with other runes can mean like, can have like a uh, thousand meanings, you know. Like a, like a Chinese symbol, so yeah, it's, so it's, somehow. Yeah. It's, it's like a rune is like a letter, but also a magical symbol. So do you use the runes to maybe, um, yeah, the feeling, what, what you have to get or what you feel when you're playing the music or what the listener feels when he hear, just listens to the music? Is it, is it uh, do you try to... Um, Put the rune into into this music style that that I, that describe maybe your feelings when you're playing or creating this album. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, uh, for instance, uh, the the Isa runes me means something uh, and some some something uh, that you can't is is impossible to get entirely into. It's impossible to to fight it. Okay. You just have to accept it. You just have to accept the 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 fact that. It is there. It is hostile, but I mean, you also have to work with your uh, with with hostile and hostile environment, mm -hmm. li like ice, because it's a rune of the ice, the yeah. ice rune. For, for for example, I mean, ice is an essential part of of nature and an essential part of uh, of your personality. Ah, okay. It's it's it's, it's always there, and you yeah. just have to accept the fact that it's an it's an hostile yeah. uh, symbol. But I mean, uh, you can't ignore it. No, you just course. have to accept it and work with it. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, last question uh, for now. Um, what are the plans for the future right after the tour? Uh, tomorrow, last day in Hamburg, and what are you going to do then? S starting recording new songs? Do you have new ideas? or? Uh, we don't have time to record. Just vacations? Uh, no, no, it's never a vacation. I mean, uh, <laughs> go home and work a little bit, and uh, then we have a, a, actually a, a loads of gig for, for the rest of the year. We, are we going to Israel, we are going to Australia, we are going to Bulgaria, Romania, summer festivals. You're going to play some summer festivals here over in Germany again? Uh, Germany, I don't know about Germany. Uh, if I had the calendar in front of me, I could tell you. <laughs> but uh, I think the first European festival will be uh, Forte Rock in uh, the Netherlands in, at the 1st of June. And uh, there's a couple of festivals in Norway, uh, one in Bulgaria, one in Romania. and. Uh, the Australian tour, and we might do something in the, in the States by the end of the year. And uh, I think there are more festivals, I just can't remember them. Maybe there's one in Germany, but <laughs> I don't know. So just uh, full of concerts the next time? Yeah, basically full of concerts, yeah. Okay, then thank you very much for the interview. Thanks for the chat, man. Thanks, and uh, yeah, Leute, stay tuned. And we'll see you next time. Stay tuned.